Wait, 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 wait. Stay right there. Oh. Come out. Okay. Me? Yeah. Okay. Okay. This is new. Don't ever push me. I'm really <laughs> sad to sorry say this, but you guys look like the people from the morning show, Madeline, and uh, that's horrible. I think this is nightcap. Pretty sure it's nightcap, not the morning. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, nightcap or not, you didn't do good. <laughs> <laughs> so how exactly do you want us to model them? I, like, just give me LaBeja. Uh, okay. So, we dismiss? Yeah, you dismiss. Oh, yeah, okay. LaBeja's in the building. You know I'm here to say, yo, what you need from me? Thank you. Cue the music. Oh. What's the tea? I heard you wanna. What's the tea? Heard you wanna. The tea, like me. Oh, I love it. What's the tea? What, yes. what, what, what's yes. the tea? What's the tea? La I Beja. heard you wanna walk like me. Mm. Walk like me. Like me. Right. Walk, walk like me. I heard you wanna walk like me. Walk like Thank me. What's <laughs> See, I wish you guys walked just like her. That's the kind of like walk oh, I need. Oh, I wish you understood. We can't do that for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes. Okay. Welcome to Nightcap. We are having a little fun as we continue our career day series. And on this show, we are highlighting 23-year-old Jason Ofori. I'm sure you've guessed it by now that Jason is a fashion designer. Born in Ghana, Jason started realizing he had a thing for fashion when he would take his older sister's magazines to look at what's trending and to see how the guys dress to impress the ladies. His childhood curiosity developed into him launching Ataria NYC, a men's and women's apparel brand. Jason's Let's go have a seat and talk more about your career. Now, give us the backstory. How did you start designing clothes? All right, so I started when I was about, um, I'll say 13, 14, around that time. Um, I started a brand, it was called Mind Over Matter. It was like a little, I was um, doing like t-shirts, um, tie and dye, I was personally tie and dyeing the shirts in my backyard and just selling them to people. Because I had so much friends and so much, um, What's the word for it? I had so much help and and um, Connection? connections, yes. and like they just they just wanted to support me. So I was selling a lot of shirts off of that, and you know I, I was doing it by myself, so it was kind of hard to really push myself up, you know. So that's how I really started. It worked out well. <laughs> <laughs> worked out well. So what formal or informal training do you have in fashion design? Um, formal training. Uh, in terms, of, what do you mean by in, like? Like, do you have any training that helps you um, be able to make the clothes that you make, or oh, like any background? I really, my sisters. Just, I have a lot of sisters. I have six. So what? wow, you're yeah. the only boy. No, no, no. Oh, I have a little okay. brother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have a little brother. So it's just me and him, and then the, all the other rest. But they don't really live with us. It's only like um, I think two of them that live with us. But I get they they were helping me as I was growing you know, through the process and just giving me ideas of how to do things this way and certain ways. And I was just learning from other people mm -hmm. too. So that's where I get most of it from. So did they um make clothes themselves too? Like are they, they, they we uh, like most of the people in our family we draw. Oh okay. Yeah, so they mm -hmm. sketched a lot. So I, I got it off of them too. So mm -hmm. the creativity already flows. Yeah. Yeah. Right. They just didn't, <laughs> they didn't push it off like I did, so. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and let's talk about the brand. How did Ataria evolve from being just a t-shirt brand to actually becoming a full uh, uh, full apparel brand? All right, so my partner, she's not here. Oh, my name is Cece. Um, Shout out to Cece. Right. Yeah. Hey, girl. <laughs> she's a smart girl, she's a smart girl. Um, we go to church together, so I, okay. met her, I met her in church, and I was doing my clothing line, and then I stopped for a little bit because it was so hard doing everything by yourself. Yeah, balancing everything. So she asked me to model because I used to model a little bit. So she asked me to model for her, and I came, and I was like, I started seeing how the way she was working, and I was like, oh, I like it, I like it. It's like she looked like she was inspired, and she was not trying to give up for anything, even though her clothes wasn't that good, but she was still trying to push it out. Yeah. So I seen that business side of her and I was like, you know what? I told him like, look how long we knew each other, maybe like six years or more. I was like, let's work together. You know, I, I, I design, I pick out the designs, I figure out one thing else, she, do the, she does the business. So, mm -hmm. yeah. That's a really smart way to balance things out. So not exactly. one person's doing everything, but right. you guys share responsibilities. Right. You know, um, what's it called? Um, balance of power. Yeah. Government, you know, they like mm -hmm. have that yeah. thing, so like no one has more power than the other. That's really right. smart. Yeah. So your label, um, Ataria NYC, was established in 2014 mm -hmm. and formally called Emoji Express. Um, first, why did you change the name? 
Um, all right, so Cece had her name Emoji Express at first. Okay. And um, when I started working with her, I told her we have to change it because that's not, I didn't like the name. It didn't yeah. sound good. <laughs> emoji, and then you already, a lot of people already giving shade to emoji dresses and stuff like that. Oh, so okay. to have that kind yeah. of name under you doesn't sound good. So we thought of the word um, in, in Ghanaian, we, we say it as Ataria. Mm. Oh, that's yeah. where it comes from. But you know from? everybody and what, else. And what does it oh mean? Ataria means like clothing. I just had like an epiphany. Like it's, yeah. yeah. I just had an epiphany. Oh I need to go to Tiffany. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Everybody, everybody gets it mixed up, and they oh just they say it the American way. So it's okay. You can say it that way. Oh my god. So like we've been saying it wrong the whole time. I feel. But it's wild. okay though. I've done <laughs> oh I've done so god. many shows that people just say it that way, and oh you're just like you just right. you just suck it yeah. up. Like when people call me Devin. <laughs> Just suck it up and keep moving on. Or they <laughs> on. Uh huh. Okay, that makes sense. And um, while well, you just explained how and why the name Atar, well, Ataria, like, um, what's the significance of Ataria to you? Like, why would you want? It? Why did you decide that that was the perfect fit? We chose that because um, it was like a universal type of um, word that anybody could say, and it also has a meaning for our culture because mm -hmm. be, being the fact that we're both African. Mm -hmm. Um, and NYC, we're born and raised, well, we were raised here. And that's how it came together. It just, oh, okay. It's a different name. <laughs> now, how would you describe the fashion of Ataria? Is that how you say it? Ataria. Ataria. I mean, you could say it the way you were saying it before. But no, but I like, want to be down. Ataria. Ataria. When you Ataria. know the definition and like what that. it really means, then like, it just changes everything. You just feel like you got to say it. Like, <laughs> you know what? I'm just go with it. How would you describe the fashion of Ataria? Okay. And who is it for? Um, it's for... Ages, you know, probably from like 14 to like 30, around that type of age. But we're we're starting to brand more into like older people and mm -hmm. plus size because we got love for them too. You know, mm -hmm. we're not just gonna yes. leave them out. Yeah. Um, Smart. yeah, we um our brand is basically like a European style of African code. Mm -hmm. So we're foreign, yeah, foreign right? AF. <laughs> so we're trying one day, you know, hopefully later in the year, maybe like. I'll give it like four years. We're gonna try to like open up a store. That's my dream to open up a store for tourists to come and buy African clothing because you don't see that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So they're coming and seeing like a nice fitted blazer for them and it has yes. African mm -hmm. print on it and they could take it back to Spain or wherever they're coming okay. from. That's an amazing yeah, idea. Yeah, that's very smart. Yeah. You should do it quick, because, you know. Yeah, yeah, people, we're working people, on it. People are advancing. Like, they're going to be like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, they're, 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 they're noticing. <laughs> mm -hmm. So we're going we're gonna to try to move fast. OK. Yes. What's your creative process? Like, um, do you visualize the design or idea, then you just pick up a piece of paper and start drawing? How does it go? Um, yeah, I, I look at um, magazines. I look at, um, I look at artists. I look at um, a lot of things on social media. I'll just be on Instagram, just looking through, looking through. And I also know a lot of friends that are designers too. So they give me some kind of input. You know, don't add that, add the zipper here. And then we draw it out, we try it out with our, design, um, our designers. They sew it, we see how it comes out. If it comes out looking good, we push it out. Yeah. You know? Now, there has to be some inspiration behind your visualization. So what inspires you? Is it fabric? Is it texture? Is it color? What it inspires you? It's color, texture, because I like detail. Mm -hmm. I'm very big on detail. So I like the color, texture. And um, I just like, I like things to be fitted. So Me too. I, anything yeah. that looks good, fitted, tailored, I like it. So that's my inspiration. That's where I get it from. I just like clothes that are just relaxed, fitted, mm -hmm. looks good on you. Yes. Okay, I agree. <laughs> actually, when it when it's tailor made and looks yeah, like it was made, it yeah, yeah, you good. just feel like yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's also a business side to fashion design, as you mentioned. Yeah. Um, in order to be uh, successful, you have to have a, pro a process, um, a thorough understanding of finance, mm -hmm. you know, production, sales, marketing, all of that. How has it been managing the business side of things? Um, at first, when we started, it was hard because it was just me and CC, and um, <clears throat> excuse me, um, two other designers, and but they were on and off, you know, not really committed because everybody's, you know, we just started our brand. Nobody has that fire like, oh, we're gonna, we're gonna make it or anything mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. So now we have a very big team. Um, we have about two, three designers. We have a marketing person. We have. Um, finance we have a mentor that 
that um, has a degree, I think a bachelor's in finance, that's helping us out. Oh, wow. Um, and Cece also, she's graduating next year with that too, with finance and accounting. Mm -hmm. So that's gonna be good. Um, so yeah, that's, we have a big team that worries about all of that. So we don't have to really focus on it too okay. much. They just give us the rundown, tell us what's going on with the bank accounts and things like that. Sounds now, good. your clothes are designed in both in New York City mm -hmm. and Ghana. So how does that work for you? Um, CC takes trips to Nigeria here and there. Oh. I haven't gone to Ghana probably like, um, probably like 10 years, maybe oh, wow. even more. Wow. So I, I want to go there, though, so I can get a little inspiration, that's, so I can push it out over there, too, because that's what we're trying to do. And um, Cece's going to London next, uh, in September, so she's going she's gonna to have a little bit of links out there. If we can get it out in London, that would yeah, be honestly. amazing. That's all you Cause need. Because London's so, big on fashion, too. Yeah, yeah exactly. Very, so yeah. we bring that to them, and we find a little outlet that we can push it. It's definitely gonna work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, you guys for you guys. are some we are bankers. We try, we try. Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, so let's touch on, on some of the things, some of the things that are happening in the fashion world. I read an article titled "Why Is Fashion of All Places Still a Man's World?" Mm -hmm. The article talks about how most um, brands cater to women. However, very few of them are owned or led by women. What are your thoughts on this? Um. I mean. It's not, I, I, you said that they, they cater to women, women more, yeah. but they're men behind it. Yes, exactly. I don't know. I, I, I cater, we actually cater to men more than the females. Mm -hmm. so it's kind of opposite on our side. So we're, we're really trying to work on more female clothing. So I don't, I, I don't see why they, they do that, though. But have you noticed that more men are behind like, yeah. big brands and yeah. things of that but nature? But I feel like it's not really them, though. That's what do you really, think it is? Like they have, they have people that they have females that are really drawing and putting out those. That's stuff. true. I don't yeah. think it's really them. So uh, for us, it's, it's like uh, I'm designing girls' clothes and trying to figure out what would look good on a girl or what mm -hmm. would a female like. I try to get it from different females. Ask them, like, mm -hmm. what would you like? How would you like it? That's good. Different point of views. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> very. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so speaking of designers and everything, who are your top five designers? Top five, it's not in a, in a complete order. Okay. Um, I like Marc Jacobs. Yes. I like Marc Jacobs. Um, I, I don't want to say the, like, the, the high-end, like, Versace and stuff. I like them, but sometimes they come out with things that are too, like, uh, Extra. Yeah, I like Rick Owen. Um, I like, I'm, I'm into a lot of shoes, too, so mm -hmm. most of my designers are, like, shoes. Patrick Moore, um, who else? I like guests too. They have they have good stuff. Um, Kanye used Kanye used to be my inspiration, but I feel like he's the way he's doing his clothes is like it's too boring. You know what I mean? <laughs> a little, just he just has a T-shirt, right? Yeah, yeah, and I and I would expect more from him because how he used to dress. And how he became yeah, the inspiration. Yeah, you just exactly. Say, yeah. Yeah. But I, I still like him, though. You know, he, he does good music and stuff like that. But I, I'll still put him down as one of my okay. top five. So you have um, Kanye, mm -hmm. Mark Jacobs, Mark, Mark Jacobs, Jacobs Patrick, Patrick Owen, Owen, Patrick Moore, Rick, Patrick Owen, Rick Owen, and Guess. Yes. Okay, sounds good. Top five, top five. I don't know, like <laughs> half of them, so. <laughs> he was like, Patrick Moore. I was like, Patrick Moore, yeah. <laughs> okay, so. Um, Speaking of articles, let me go back to the articles. I read another article where designers gave advice she on read. what <laughs> I read. <laughs> where um, um, designers gave advice on what it takes to be a successful fashion designer, and two of them said you have to have a vision. So, what's your vision for Ataria? Where are you trying to go moving forward? What are you trying to do? We are trying, as of right now, <clears throat> we're trying to just we're trying to get our brand into like just for other people to see it from like different countries like mm -hmm. london we're starting with there nigeria they have seen it a little bit i need to go touch ghana um so that's our vision is just like i said that tourist spot i want i want one in the city because that's going to be one of the best places to put it yeah so i just want to have that tourist spot there not too big but 
just let them come inside and just get that vibe when mm -hmm. they come inside and, and feel like, oh, wow, I can wear this back in London and look good, you know what I mean? Yeah. So mm -hmm. I, we see, I see ourselves, I want to open up that store. That's, so, my, that's my goal. So where's your <laughs> ideal location in the city? Yeah, I don't want to go, I don't want to put it in like the, um, the rich places like um, Fifth Ave and okay. where all the Gucci, cause then it'll throw them off. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna, I want to put it like where everybody is at, mm -hmm. like maybe what, 42nd? Um, that's good. Cause that's gonna have just people going in there just to look and yeah. if they see something like that, oh, let me get that. Instead of the, you know, the rich people are very picky, so. Yes, very They're gonna picky. see them like, mm -hmm. oh, it's not, it's not Gucci, so. <laughs> They won't okay. buy it, but okay. yeah. Sounds good, okay. okay. So stay tuned, y'all, 42nd Street. Right, <laughs> <That's where. laughs> And finally, what advice do you have for those who are watching who are, who are trying to pursue the same career path as you? Don't give up, because it's very hard. It's still hard now. You know, we go through a lot of ups and downs, and it's not, it's not easy at all. Um, have a good team because you need that. You cannot do it by yourself at all. I tried it. It does not work. Um, keep an open mind. Ha um, always try to find inspiration from anything. Don't you know, stay in one place. Don't keep, it, don't keep your mind in a box. Yeah. Um, and just have fun when you're doing it. Because if you're not having fun, you're not going to yeah, like it. Yeah, it's enjoyable. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And I have fun doing it, so yeah. Yeah. Sounds great. Thank yes. you. Yes. Okay. Inspirational. Well, we have done enough talking, and I'm pretty sure our viewers would actually like to see your work. So we've asked you to select top your top five designs, which we will showcase when we come back. Don't go anywhere. We are going to give you all our social media while we go get set up. <laughs> for Nightcap's first fashion show. We've got the runway all set up because we are going to showcase the creations of fashion designer Jason. Before the break, we talked about talked to Jason about how he got started, how his designs go from the brain to the paper and now to the bodies. And if you missed the interview, check our Facebook page to see when this show re-airs and keep a look out on our YouTube page. As I said earlier, we asked you to choose your top five designs and you brought in a team of couple of models and now when each of them comes out you're going to tell us why you chose them and what and who you had in mind when you designed it okay no ready problem. awesome okay. awesome so let's bring out the first one yes. i like that I like yeah it looks nice I really yeah like yeah this is um we She's got it from one of my, my partner actually um cc she's nigerian so when she went to nigeria she got that made straight from home an artist, an artist that, that drew it out was one of our um, designers on our team. Yes. So, yeah, yeah it looks like the colors mm -hmm. go together. Kind in the blue. Beautiful. Yeah. Yes, I love Is that. Is there any inspiration behind like the design itself, like the halter and all that? Um, the designer we have, she's, how old is she now? I think she's 19. Oh, very wow. Young. Um, she just comes up with so much great stuff. Like, it, I think she was inspired by something else. She's Nigerian too, so maybe that's something in their culture. Yes, I love how the clothes are. It, it takes, you hold mm -hmm. up the clothes. I love it, yes. Yes, I that's great. Right. Thank you. Go girl, with that curly do. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, so the next model. Yes. Yeah, well, this is the, um, this is our like out, outerwear, nightgown kind of thing. You can, um, you can wear this to a wedding. You can wear it to um, any kind of formal event. You can wear it to. Yes. You can, really nice. you can wear it with any kind of pants. You can I wear that on nightcap. <laughs> <laughs> I like how the I should get you guys also. something though. You Ooh, really right? should. I should. Oh, Free ninety nine. Okay. <laughs> I like that. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Next model. I love how all your clothes, um, the culture, yes. you know, blends in. Yeah, this is like a dashiki print. 
Yeah. It was on that one. Well, this one's not really dashiki. This one is more dashiki. Okay. Like leather type. Yeah, leather. Like the texture. With the zipper on the back. Right. I don't think you've seen that on anyone's outfit. I actually haven't. No. I, I, I don't like think I pay attention <laughs> that much, but like this one okay. is like a, a kind of detail that just like stands yeah, out Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It's very well finished. Our designers are very, very talented. Mm -hmm. I'm thankful for them. Yeah, this is incredible. Oh, because it's kind of Oh, this next one I really, really yeah, like a lot. I like this one a lot too. Well, I need is, this one for my birthday. This is our like <laughs> traditional kente, you know, type of um color, and it's, it's a dress. it's a beautiful dress. <laughs> Anyone that wears it will look good. It doesn't matter what culture you are. We were just saying that the um the shirt that you had before, the white one with the dashiki under, yeah. like that one is like um the outfit that you wear to the wedding, and this is the wedding this dress. This is the wedding dress, exactly. <laughs> yeah, they can even go with that as a wedding dress. That's really beautiful. Yes, I love I the love colors. Mm -hmm. And I love the neck thing going yeah. on up here. Yeah, I love that. Awesome. Thank, Thank you. you. Yes, probably. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and okay. yes, last but not least, model. it's Rose. Oh yes. my God. This is like a, a nighttime wear. You can mm -hmm. wear it to anywhere possibly you can yeah. dinner date Din yeah. I like how it's simple but it has those little embellishments that way yeah exactly like we add a little bit of those. detail to it yeah. and then it'll go nice with the jewelry great jewelry yep. choice cool yeah. <laughs> and you don't even need a necklace because like right. the dress just yeah special. exactly that rose that thing I love in the though. back the, the, oh, yeah, that like a little slit yeah, yeah. Awesome. we add a little bit of fabric to it yeah it's really nice it's good yes. thank you yes. you look great awesome. Yes. Jason, thank you so much for giving us a peek yes, into your career and sharing you. your work with us and your creative process. As you continue to make strides in your career path, make sure that you you remember that you have nightcappers who are rooting for you, okay? Mm -hmm. And to my nightcappers out there, we truly hope that you what you've heard and seen inspires you to take the next step in whatever career path you choose. And that step doesn't have to be big or perfect because sometimes People don't move or act because they feel what they do has to be grand and the conditions have to be perfect. Don't worry about that. Wow. Be believe in yourself. I'm, I'm touched. Seriously Thank you touched. so much. Are you touched? <laughs> <laughs> See, Jason? <laughs> That's what we want you. You, you need to come I, back on Nightcap, I okay? need to. Yeah. I need to. So when I get my much. glasses. Yeah, we're gonna, we might, <laughs> might replace you with him. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bye.